The oldest wine I've tasted would be the 1964 Montebello. I remember pulling that cork out. It came out in a, a full piece. It just suddenly, it was like opening a perfume bottle. The essence of the Montebello vineyard came out of that bottle. And I'll never forget, we pulled the cork and that wine tasted so fresh and so fruity. And we all kind of said, wow, you know what? You did your job. Cork stoppers are very important. We spend a great deal of time crafting our wines and trying to make them perfect. So we spend a lot of time grading corks and going through the quality control process. The cork shepherds the wine through the, the aging process and it's the guardian for the wine, but it's also a part of the aging process as well. Once the wine goes in the bottle, it's not the end of this process, it's really the beginning. I would say cork is essential for good wine if you look at all the great wines of the world. As a winemaker, corks help me sleep better at night. It allows the wine to continue to evolve in a way that it's going to be delicious in five years. And if you're making a big high-end Cabernet, it's going to be delicious in 50 or 60 years because of this cork stopper. We feel like that combination of high quality wine and a high quality cork is sort of some inextricable. You can't really separate it one from the other. I soaked the corks on Chardonnay, I let it sit overnight, I taste it and see the flavors that can extract from the natural cork. The cork is the last thing that the wine touches. When you look at the oxygen exchange in this wonderful final product, we see it's best expressed with a natural cork closure. Nothing ages the same way as a cork and nothing has the lifespan of a cork. And it's sustainable. I had made the same mistake that a lot of people think that you know, the tree is cut down and they peel it all apart, but that's just not what happens. I mean, the tree is taken care of. You know, cork is a natural product. You harvest cork from a tree and then you can live for well over a century. This is helping maintain the forest and the livelihood of the people who have been uh, raising those trees and, and harvesting the bark. And that's something we will always continue to support.